application of dynamic signal light timing on traffic density project. So this is an effective system that you know effectively manages the traffic signals depending on the traffic density on each of the roads. So as you can see the setup here for this we use a 12 volt transformer. These are the IR transmitters and receivers here and these LEDs here color, color LEDs are used to demonstrate as green, yellow and red signal at particular post. So we would be monitoring the traffic at this one and this way here. So these IR uh, transmitter and receivers are used to detect vehicles lined up on that particular road. So suppose uh, a vehicle blocks uh, the first uh, IR receiver, we can detect there is a uh, you know, minimum density at this post. If uh, vehicles are blocking both IR rece receivers, uh, the first and the second one, we can uh, detect medium density and similarly if they are blocking all three receivers, we can detect uh, maximum density at this particular post. Similarly, on this road, we can detect the density of the traffic. So depending on the density, we operate the signal light timings. That is, uh, if the density is more at this particular road, we operate this signal. We keep it on as we keep it green for a longer amount of time. The, the time uh, varies. Uh, on the traffic density detected similarly on this post here so let's see how the system works we are using an 8051 family microcontroller here for uh, managing the entire process so when there is no density at any of the signals any of the roads the lights are designed to operate for uh, 3 seconds each for demonstration purpose So as you can see, they are operating normally. So now let's do one thing. Let's simulate uh, some traffic at uh, this particular signal. Let's simulate one uh, single vehicle here. So as you can see, the rest signals are operating at the same duration. But when it comes here, it's going to take uh, a bit longer since there is some density at this post. So now let's do one thing, let's block two IR receivers here. So on blocking two receivers, you can see that it's going to wait for a little bit more uh, time because there is uh, quite some density at this post so now let's simulate the receiver block here now it's going to wait for even more longer duration since there is high traffic density at this road here So this is how depending on the traffic density it uh, you know operates the signal and this uh, density is detected the density is detected automatically using the IR receivers here. So we let's simulate uh, traffic at this post here, this road. So as you can see even this post signal is now green for a quite longer duration of time compared to normal. So this is how the system works. Thank you.